Welcome to IntelliDocs. This video will explain how Clinical Decision Support, or CDS, rules can provide helpful feedback as you view a patient's chart or add information to it. Depending on the CDS rules that your system administrator has turned on, you may see CDS alerts in several situations. For example, if vitals need to be entered, a procedure should be done, or a medication prescribed based on the patient's problem list, or if you should be aware of lab results that may require some attention. CDS alerts are displayed in two places, the to-do column of the appointment list and the to-do indicator near the top right corner of the IntelliDocs window. If the to-do column is blank and there's no to-do indicator for a particular patient, that's good news. It means that nothing in the chart has triggered any of the CDS rules that are enabled on your system. But many patients will have some numbers here. The first number shows how many pieces of information need to be recorded on the patient summary screen to satisfy basic meaningful use criteria. The second number is how many CDS alerts have been triggered by the information, or lack of it, in this patient's chart. Click the to-do indicator to view details about the numbers for the current patient. All patients need to have demographic information such as their gender, race, ethnicity, and preferred language recorded, as well as at least one entry on the problem list, one or more medication allergies or an indication that the patient has no known drug allergies, one or more medications or an indication that the patient currently takes no medications, and basic vital signs. How to enter this meaningful use data is covered in a separate video. The second number is how many CDS alerts have been triggered by what's in or missing from this patient's chart. When you click the to-do indicator, you'll see CDS alerts at the bottom of this box, below any meaningful use reminders. Your system administrator has a set of 20 CDS rules to choose from. He or she can turn on rules that are appropriate for your patients and specify what types of IntelliDocs users should be notified if a CDS alert applies to the current patient. For example, CDS alerts that apply to medications would normally be shown only to someone who's allowed to change the patient's medications. Some CDS alerts are displayed just for informational purposes and don't require or suggest a specific action. For example, if the patient has a diagnosis of diabetes and an LDL cholesterol value greater than 100, you may see a CDS alert about that but actually lowering the patient's LDL value could involve anything from patient education to a referral to a dietitian to changing the patient's medications. Other CDS alerts can be turned off by adding or changing data in the patient's chart. For example, if no foot exam has been recorded for a diabetic patient, you can perform the exam and record that in the procedure section of the patient summary screen. When you save the changes, the CDS alert will disappear because it no longer applies to this patient. You may see the second number in the to-do indicator change as new information is added to the patient's chart by other IntelliDocs users or by automated processes such as a lab results interface. For example, if another provider ordered a high-risk medication for this patient, or if a lab interface retrieved a test result that needs to be reviewed, we might see the second number go up by one. And if you import information into the patient's chart from a CCDA file, the allergies, medications, and problems that are imported are automatically checked. For example, here's a patient who currently has two active CDS alerts, one for reconciling the patient's medication list and another one for a flu shot. We'll import a CCDA file from another provider that contains an active diagnosis of ischemic vascular disease. However, there's no entry for aspirin or other antithrombotic drug on the patient's active medication list, so that triggered a third CDS alert. For more information about a CDS rule and the clinical quality measure on which it's based, click the link in the alert window. A new web browser window will open and will display a document with detailed information about the measure, including the organization that developed the measure, a detailed description of the measure, the rationale for the measure, clinical recommendations, and references. For more information on the patient's allergies, medications, problems, or test results that are mentioned in a clinical quality measure, 
you can click this Info button symbol to see a list of links that may provide additional information about that item. If you have any questions about clinical decision support in IntelliDocs, please send us email at support at busynet.com or give us a call at area code 918-858-4440, voicemail option number 2.